Monkey asses, trick ass hoes, work ass marks, punk ass busters. That's right. I'm talking about the Bonar. And that is just how other tribes see them, because that's just how they are. And they've been taken and hurled to the ground over and over and over again with such ferocity and repetition that they live in the goddamn sewer now. They live in the sewer because that's about as much goddamn ground as you can get. And they're like, oh, our bitch ass is all up in the sewer. Ew, stay in the sewer, you dirty ass transient. That is pretty much how the rest of the werewolves see Bonar. They're filthy and scrummy and dirty assholes. They do terrible things, and they have so many, many, many metises. Yes, right, and that's when the werewolves pick each other, and they have crazy babies that claw their way out of their mother's stomachs and often kill her in the process. Sometimes she doesn't die because she is, after all, a regenerating monster. The Bonar eat at O'Toole's, McDonald's, they shop at Walmart because, well, they have to save their money because Bonar are poor. They are trash. They're not just white trash, but the trash of every color in you. And that is the Bonar, for they have uh, a motley of ancestry. And they'll breed with anyone or, or anything and with each other. And they, they don't have any pretense to tribal ancestry in any real possible fashion in any more in these Knights of Apocalypse. But the Bonar, no that a friend is hard to find. And when you get one, maybe, just maybe you take care of him. You spend time with him. You get to know him. Because all those other werewolves are going to fucking die. Their time is done. And the only hope, the only hope there is of turning back that tide is in the uh, disease-ridden, feces-smeared, clawed talons of the Bonar. They are the first, middle, and last line of defense of Gaia, of purity, of the world itself to turn back against the corruption. Because that's why they live there. That's why they take the shit. Because they don't have time to engage in bloody wars with the other tribes. They don't have interest to do that. And, and certainly a Bonar matriarch may become irritated and sullen with a get who happens to babble on ceaselessly and endlessly about his philosophy and diatribes of how there should be no medicine and and she produces her eight Bonar Metis children, and a mother gets kind of pissed when a dick has something negative to say about her children and not liking the way that they are for what they are. This is a quite true reality with the Bonar, but they let insults slide off the back, and they are tough skin, far, far tougher skin than other werewolves. For other werewolves are perhaps amongst the world of darkness dizens, the most easily offended creatures. Bonar keep their rage well in check because they have to live amongst humans. They have to live amongst the smog and trash and scum of the city, and they do it wonderfully. They can grind all that shit up and starve foam and just shove it right down their mouth. They can get rid of starve foam. The rest of the pure tribes, no, they can't. Bonar are tremendously adept at survival, and you know who survives? Those who are adept at survival. The other werewolves are a remnant and legacy of the past. They're entities like tigers that are soon doomed to die off and become utterly extinct. The Bonar know this. So they slump their shoulders and take the insult one more time. Because, after all, that won't be the straw that breaks their back. For their backs are strong. A lot stronger than the other tribes. Who, well, won't survive the coming apocalypse. There will only be Bonar. There will only be Bonar. For they are the first and last line of defense. They are the ones who have learned the ways of the spirits of the cities. Of the banes of corruption. Of the filth, of the decay, of the ability to integrate with humanity because they are the most human of the werewolves. Well, the others thumb their noses at us, even having engaged in many, many horrible acts against humanity. The Bonar are always there, begging for change in the shadows, watching, remembering. And they are the only ones who will survive. So, disgrace them while you can other tribes, for your nights are dearly up. And the Bonars may not have very nice things to say at your eulogy, but what difference does it make? For only Bonar ears 
will hear those words.